Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Something that I imagine some people might be interested in. I don't know how many though, I guess I'll find out after we upload it. But in this video, I thought I would kind of show you guys my anime collection. You know, my YouTube channel is very much like anime focused. I like to think I do a decent job of getting across how much I like anime. So maybe this could kind of like add to that, you know, bit of a supplement. So. I'm just going to kind of show you one by one various anime like Blu-rays that I've collected and maybe say a few words about the show, you know, as well. We'll see how much time I have, how long it takes. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Now, first thing I had to show, and these are in no particular order, by the way. I just kind of grabbed them and set them on the table next to me. So first thing I got here is a show called No Known Beauty. This is the complete show, all uh, 24 episodes and four discs, you know. But like, I guess it wouldn't include the movie, which I think there is, but I have not quite yet seen it yet. But uh, it's a cool show. It's like takes place out in the country, you know, where nothing too exciting happens. But it's exciting to watch because it's got, you know, anime girls in it. And it kind of is a magical thing like that. I do quite like the cover, you know, all the snow and stuff. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it's actually a very pretty cover. I definitely quite, quite like it. So up next, we got uh, High School of the Dead. Yep, this show, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It takes place, well, doesn't, I mean, the beginning of it takes place in high school, but once a dead con, it kind of becomes, it takes place wherever they feel safe, really. That's kind of how zombie apocalypse goes. It's, it's a fun show. There's not really a lot of zombie anime, really. And I do like zombie stuff, you know. I watched The Walking Dead and some of Z Nation. I kind of fell behind on it, but I did watch a lot of that show. And I think even some of the Fear of the Walking Dead, I'm not good at finishing things, but the point is, it's, it was a fun show. It's got at least one pretty infamous scene of very yeah, special physics. If you've seen, seen the show, you probably know what I'm referring to. So, you know, that's that. I got right here the the familiar of Zero. I call it Zero No Tsukaima. And this is the complete collections, so like all four seasons like 49 episodes and OVA on eight discs so it takes a lot to get that it's actually quite thick because that's that's a lot of discs this is an anime it was an isekai anime before isekai anime was a popular thing it was definitely my first isekai anime one of uh, definitely one of the earlier shows that I watched you know I quite liked it Louise I think was my first introduction to tsundere characters either her or Taiga one of the two but she was one that definitely I remember as being a very standout Example of that kind of archetype, but yeah, good show. Also got here the uh, first and second season of Is the Order of Rabbits. You know, Gochu Monwa, Usagi Deska. So one of my favorite slice of life shows. Really good stuff. Not too much to say about it because it's very slice of lifey, of course, but just it's top tier for sure. If you haven't seen it, you probably should. I also got uh, Seikon no Quasar. I think that's what it's called. This is, I mean, the box says the the, the Quasar of Stigmata because it's usually these usually have the English title. Those are like, you know, localized and all that. But the point is, this show is quite etchy. Our characters, we got some cool battles and like opai fueled energy. It's, it's quite an odd show. I actually don't remember that much about it beyond what I just said, but I remember having fun with it when I watched it way back in the day. I got... Uh... Yeah, season one and season two of Kinyiro Mosaic, another one of my favorite slice of life anime. You know, it's I got also got a lot of English in it because our girls, well, a couple of the girls came from like England, you know, English land, and they speak Japanese as best they can. Some of them speak Japanese better than others, but you know, they all do their best, and all their Japanese is better than a certain girl's English. If you've seen the show, you're definitely aware of that. I got uh, Bakuon, which is a motorcycle anime. You know, girls ride motorcycles. It's it's a lot of fun. I remember at least one kind of like car washing kind of scene involving the involving the 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 motorcycle. Definitely left an impression on me. That's for sure. Not too much to say on it beyond that, though. Also, I got the like the uh, what's it called premium edition, uh, whatever you call it, like of uh, of Keijo right here. Also quite thick. This one actually includes a uh, like an art book which is pretty cool you know i mean it's not super thick or anything but i mean there are there are aspects of it that are super thick i'll i'll tell you that and this is actually what my uh keijo the calendar came with the the you know special edition whatever you call it i don't remember what it's called deluxe premium super ultra edition whatever uh also got this this is gakko gurashi or school live 
really can't say much about it without spoilers, but it's it's a very good anime and you should definitely watch it. Got uh, the uh, the comic artist show, you know, manga to assistants. I don't quite remember the title. It's, it's something like that. It's about a mangaka and his assistants and their crazy adventures together. It's a pretty short show, but I mean, it's enjoyable, especially if you're into that sort of thing, manga and whatnot. No reason not to check it out. I got Sakura Trick, which is like my favorite Yuri anime ever. You know, nothing too fancy, just our girls go to school. They, our two main girls are quite close. They become closer over the course of the show. They discover the wonder of Yuri kissing and they just, they can never go back. It's, it's quite great, especially with like the older sister that is very suspicious of what's going on between them. It's, it's quite a fun show. I really like it. It's not everyone's favorite Yuri anime, but I, I, I quite liked it. I got uh, Yu Yu Shiki here, you know, not a super popular show or anything like that, but uh, it's it's fine. I really don't have too much to say about it, but it's 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 a decent slice of life show. I got Ika Ika Musume. This is also one of my favorite anime ever. Just it's just a great show. We got our squid girl and her tentacles, and she just kind of wraps them around people. It's it's just great, you know. It's like it, it takes place at the beach. The show, so like every episode's a beach episode. Really can't argue with that, as far as brilliant ideas for a show goes. I got here, uh, Higurashi no Naku Koroni. This one's also quite thick because it's the entire show. All uh, three seasons, you know, a bit. Doesn't say the episode amount, but like all three seasons, which is pretty cool. You know, it's about the countryside and how fun that can be, how exciting things can get, you know. That kind of show. I think that's an accurate description of it. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't. Uh, I've got Saba Gebu, you know, like uh, Saba Get, survival games, you know, shooting pellets at each other, that kind of thing. It's it's what it sounds like, you know, it's like an action anime with characters that are quite friendly with each other. And uh, this is a show I'm sure most people are at least heard of, uh, Made in Abyss, you know, pretty pretty popular show. You know, it's about characters that go into an abyss. And it's quite a dangerous place, but the, the thrill of adventure, it calls to them. And it's much easier to go into the abyss than to come back out. Also a very hard-learned lesson in the show, for sure. But really good anime, definitely. I got uh, Ichigo Mashimoto, or Strawberry Marshmallow. Just cute slice of live show. Not too much to say about it. It's been a long time since I've seen it. But I remember liking it. I got uh, Watamote, you know. Uh, the full title is something like... It's your guys' fault that I'm not popular, something like that. I don't remember the Japanese title off the top of my head. It's it's quite a mouthful. But yeah, pretty much about a girl who's very awkward, to put it mildly, you know. Very not quite good in social situations. So I'm pretty, I can quite relate to it, which is, you know, a big part of the appeal to me. So the cover kind of has like multiple pictures of the same main girl, which is pretty cool. So definitely a good show if you can handle like the, the cringe, as the kids say. And we got Urara Merocho. Yeah, also a pretty good show. You know, it's got a lot of belly showing because the one girl does it as like an apology method. Girls are really cute. Pretty fun show. I, I, I want more. When are we going to get our second season? It's kind of my, kind of my question. You know, I, uh, I mean, I technically have this. I just bought it because it was really cheap. I mean, it's like a uh, top, what was it called? Top, uh, they, well, Die Best of the Movie is what it's called in English, you know. And there's like a two there. It's it's whatever. It's like, I don't know, five bucks or something. Just I grabbed that on a whim. Not much to say about it. And we got uh, Bryn Hilder in the Darkness. So this show, I watched when it aired. It's uh, definitely one of the one of the darker shows in my collection. It's, uh, what can I really say about it? Like, you know, the girls are like constantly on the verge of dying. Like, it's kind of a struggle to stay alive. It's just that kind of show. But I quite like the girls in it, for sure. Really don't have too much to say on it. The ending was a little bit, yeah, but overall I liked it. It was cheap enough where I liked it enough to, I, I, I liked it enough to pick it up. And here's another pretty popular one. No game, no life. I mean, you've probably already seen it, I would imagine, but pretty much it's about, it's like an isekai show, except it's a gaming world, and rather than like the normal kind of rules that we would buy by, I buy by here, everything's decided by gaming, which is why it makes it kind of a perfect place for our for our, uh, you know, protagonist and more two main characters that are very good at games. I probably should be showing the back of these two, but, you know. Okay, up next we have, uh, 
Yushibu, which is a pretty pretty interesting idea for a show about a character that wanted to be a hero and battle, you know, demons and stuff, but uh, the Demon King was defeated and he had to get a real job, you know, a desk job, a retail job. I did a rewatch of the show on the channel, by the way. It's all, another show that's definitely kind of quite on the etchy side. A lot of fun. And another pretty popular anime. I got, uh, okay, this one is this one, okay. I have Girls in Panzer. This is the complete series. This is the OVAs, so, you know, it's about tanks. Girls drive the tanks. They battle each other in the tanks. It's pretty fun. Very fun show. I also react to it on the channel. I got uh, Hidamari Sketch, which I had not seen yet, but I bought it in hopes that I will watch it someday. You know, it's a slice of life show by Shaft. I figured it was at least worth grabbing. Only the first season, though, because I haven't seen it, so I wasn't going to dedicate to getting the whole, sh whole thing. But I got uh, Chaika. You know, Chaika, the coffin princess. I don't remember much about the show at all, honestly, but I did like it. I definitely like Chaika herself, and it's actually got a really nice cover, too. I quite like it. See, I got uh, Data Live. I think this is only the first season, I believe. It's like the super budget version, the save version. So, yeah, Data Live is pretty great. I like the character designs. You know, you also date girls to save the world. Pretty, pretty cool concept. This is probably the oldest thing in my collection right here, which is K-Own, only the first season. This is, about the others, which are Blu-rays, this is just a regular DVD. But yeah, pretty much like the first one I ever bought. I mean, I'm sure I don't have to explain k to you. It's pretty, pretty, pretty well-known show. You know, girls play music. It's, it's great. I probably should have stacked that better. It's kind of a big old pile now. Anyway, up next is Local Doru. Definitely, definitely not a popular anime, like, at all. But I really liked it when it aired. I thought it was great. And uh, it's actually kind of a hard show to find rips for on the internet. So definitely worth picking up as a Blu-ray. So, you know, great show, though, for sure. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. It's like local dodo stands for local idol, you know, it's that should be spray self-explanatory But like local areas have an idol to get more popular kind of like what zombie land saga did sort of uh, Up next is kill me, baby. Don't don't know what's the what's the anyway, uh, this show I mean, it's a weird title. It's a like a slapstick comedy kind of anime one girl's an assassin the other girls a, a goober, you know, they have shenanigans together. It's it's quite a fun show. I really like it I got uh, Amagi Brilliant Park. This is a KyoAni show, Kyoto Animation. And it's pretty much what it sounds like. There is a, a park and it is brilliant and people do their best in it, really. So, you know, if you like Kyoto Animation shows, you probably like this one too. Not too much to say about it, really. It's got some great moments. I've got uh, Soft Tenny, which is an anime about tennis. Soft tennis, by the way. And, you know, it definitely leans on the etchy side as well, but aside from that, it's pretty straightforward tennis comedy anime. Our girls play tennis and they have fun doing so. Just this got a, some weird stuff in it. That's all. I'm pretty sure I did like a, either a reaction or a rewatch on the channel. On the channel, one of the two. Yeah, I think it was just a regular reaction. Anyway, up next is when supernatural battles become commonplace. I don't remember the Japanese title for this. Uh, also, a show that's been a while since I've seen. I haven't watched it since it originally aired. But I definitely remember one scene that was quite legendary. You know, when the one girl turns off the stove and gives, like, this really, really heated lecture to our, like, main character. That scene is just kind of one of those scenes in anime that will, like, always stick with me. But, uh, yeah, I liked it. You know, fun show. It's, I mean, as the, title, as the title sounds, it's got, like, superpowers in it, I guess. It's, it's hard to explain how that is incorporated into the show. Just just watch it if you want to. I got uh, My Mental Choices Are Interrupting With My Life, which is a show I did, I did a rewatch for on the channel. You know, the gimmick of the show is our protagonist kind of is randomly given ch choices and scenarios by some omniscient voice like God, and he has to do it or it gets a pretty bad headache, and he makes a choice that usually embarrasses him or ruins his relationship with someone. Like, it's it's, it's a curse, you know? It's not exactly a super positive thing for him, and the, it's got some weird girls in it as well. You know, because only weird girls would possibly hang out with a protagonist that does weird things like that. So, let's see, uh, this is also a fairly popular show. Uh, don't don't drop it. Uh, Princess Principal. You know, definitely a. I don't know where I was going with that. It's a show about girls that are spies. You know, 
they do spy things. It's got some pretty cool twists in it. Interesting characters and setting and stuff like that. I quite like it. And here up next is uh, Monster Musume. Not to be confused with Monster Musume no Oisha-san which is airing this season. This is a much more older anime, you know, but it does have Monster Girls in it, so if you like that show, you might want to try this one if you haven't already, but you probably have seen this if you do like that show. But uh, yeah, our protagonist, you know, he interacts with Monster Girls and tries to live his life with them. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of craziness that occurs with that, especially with like a Slam Girl, you know. Slam Girls always complicate your life, just, it's just a fact. And this is a show called Frame Arms Girl. Again, not very popular. I doubt most people have even heard of this show. But I watched it while it aired and I actually really liked it. You know, for sure. I remember back in the day before I even started my channel and I hung out on the Otakusagi Discord server a lot. I, you know, was like almost kind of known as the person that was championing for this show the most, you know. That was always like being like, no guys, the show's great. You got to check it out. You know, that was kind of, you know, who I was. And it's a pretty simple show. Like the Frame Arms Girls are like these little model kits like you... You know, you got them all set up and get them with equipment and you can just see them battle each other. You know, it's pretty cool. I'm not really sure how to sell people on this show, but I, I liked it. That's really what, what matters. We got uh, Engaged to the Unidentified, another science of life show with like kind of supernatural elements. You know, I mean, it's called Engaged to the Unidentified, so obviously there's some kind of supernatural element to it. And I think it's most well known for that one... That one dancing scene in front of the TV, you know, like I hate Sundays or whatever she says. Like that's one of the most, you know, uh, memorable moments from the show, really. But, uh, you know, it's a fun show. Okay, also I got Blade Dance of the Elemental, or, or right, ers, plural, plural. Yeah, I really don't remember much about the show at all either, but I do remember I liked it, so I got it. It's I think it's one of those just, you know, magic battle harem anime, I think. I had fun with it, I know that much at least. But a lot of these shows I've only ever watched when they aired, so I'm fuzzy on all the details. I mean, if only you could see the big pile of Blu-rays I got. Up next is Flying Witch. This is just one of those really, like, comfy... Uh, what's it called? Iyashiki? Iyashike? You know, like, that kind of comfy healing kind of show. It's that kind of show, you know? Again, kind of like out in the country, just relaxing. There's a, there's a nice kitty cat there, too. And witches are involved, as you'd imagine by the title, so there's a little bit of magic in there. I mean, don't expect, like, big old witch battles or anything, but technically witches are in it. And we got Stella Women's Academy, the, another Saba Gebu anime, you know. So, not too much to say on it. In fact, this this survival game anime and the other survival game anime, I get mixed up in my head a lot. So, which is why I don't talk about either one too much. But, you know, they both involve the, uh, you know, shooting each other with pellets. So, it's a lot of fun. So... That's pretty much it for my Blu-ray collection, I'm pretty sure. So I guess I could show off, uh, well, I have like one manga series, which is Citrus. I don't want to really show all 10 volumes on screen, but uh, I mean, you can see them. I have a picture of them right here. They actually kind of combine to make little connected images, but this is the first one. And uh, I don't know how well it's going to show on camera, but I do have like the... Uh, you know, the actual Japanese version of it, you know, because I want at least one physical thing in Japanese in my in my room, because I am currently trying to learn the language. So, I don't really have much in the way of manga, that's like pretty much the only thing. So, how about I show off some, uh, some figures next. Okay, this one right here is, uh, my Rem Maid figure. It's, I'm sure I've shown this in videos before, but I do have it. It's quite cute. It's kind of a little bit broken with the base. It falls over way too easily. But I gotta, gotta be careful with it. Yeah, you just stay right there. And I also have one more Rem figure, which is this one. Which is like, it's a nurse. It's a nurse, nurse Rem. She, basically if I ever get injured, I come to her and she makes me feel all better. So, a good, good one to have, for sure. I have uh, this one. Which is Sagiri from Eromanga Sensei. She's got like a little tablet there. She used to have a pen, but I got it lost because I usually do lose things. It's kind of my nature, honestly. So. And my last figure and my most recent one is uh, Megumin. You know, she's got her little Taisofuku, I think it's called, like gym uniform, which of course she never wears in the show, but she wears it here. And I'd say she wears it pretty well, personally. You know, I saw this on the internet and I knew I needed to have it. So that's why I got it. 
And there you go. That's pretty much my my collection of anime stuff. I have, I mean, I do have that uh, Azuki Takimakura back there from uh, you know from Nekopata as well. But you you always see that. You already knew I have that as long as well as my K not Kon Kjo. <laughs> Very different shows. My Kjo calendar up there. I mean, it's not the right year. It's most like a decoration thing. In fact, I probably should lower that a little bit more because I technically adjusted my camera and stuff, so now it's like not quite on frame as much as it used to be, so I might end up doing that soon. But yeah, I have no idea if people wanted to wanted to see this or not, and I'm sure I could have did a better job of showing off the, the discs, and I think half of them didn't even show the back, but now you know, right? Now you know I have an anime collection. If you ever wondered, hey, I wonder if this guy does anything to support the industry, well now, now you know. So I think that's like the real accomplishment of this video. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will be somewhat entertaining to watch. So just, just let me know.